Well, thank you for introduction. My name is Toshiyuki Yokoyama, and I am a graduate student at the University of Tokyo. I'll be talking about the graph genome browser. In this presentation, first I am going to talk about background, then I talk about an idea for the graph genome browser. After that, I will show you a demonstration of a prototype. Finally, I will make a summary. The motivation of this study is as follows. The advantage to handle genomes as a mathematical graph are described in the format of with the progress of NGS and computers, the data we should handle has dramatically increased. For example, it is possible to increase entropy using multiple sequences compared to one sequence. But enumerating all sequences in the creation is redundant because of the shared sequence, especially in larger genome. Hence, it is expected to reduce in computational complexity by focusing on differences using a mathematical graph. Moreover, it provides richer coordinate space on the graph. In various analysis, genome graphs have attracted the attention from several years ago, and VG is the most important tool to manipulate genome graphs. In this year, some papers about human variation analysis on genome graphs have been published. It is shown that SNV or short indels can be handled more accurately by a genome graph. Also, early specific chancellor genome graphs are proposed to phase structure variation. There are some research besides what I mentioned. Nowadays, long read sequencing enables us to more accurately identify large scale structure variation and fusion genes as graph structure. For example, duplication or index can be regarded as loops. And branching and merging against a reference genome are also graph representation, as shown in this figure. Such versions are detected by mapping low reads or comparing assembled sequences to a reference genome. However, sometimes structure variation can be complex, especially in the patient genome. Variations may be interchromosomal, so the patient genome is difficult to compare with the reference genome. Even if the patient genome can be compared with the reference genome, traversing a patient genome's chromosome is very difficult as shown in this figure. So, the whole structure of human variation can be too complex to understand. You may wonder what did variation mean biologically. While genome graphs have been considered promising, especially in human variation analysis, the analysis is deeply linked to the visualization of genome graphs. In order to reduce the problem that Structure variations are difficult to understand. I propose a hierarchical view as means of visualization. Since there are suitable views depending on the scale, such as whole genome, gene level, and nucleotide level, a combination of multi-scale views is required. It is useful to explore a biological annotation, such as variation or genes on the mathematical graph. Since annotation on the real genome is necessary for revealing the biological meaning, such as G fusion gene. Now, let me talk about the graph data structure to represent structure variation. The brown graph or string graph is often used in genome assembly, but these graph structures are difficult to interpret for variation analysis. In variation analysis, the graph called sequence graph or variation graph is used while VG is the tool to manipulate variation graphs. VG uh, includes not only variation graph data structure, but also alignment, genotyping, variant coding methods, and so on. So, the concept of VG can handle is very wide. I should link the concept of variation graph to focus on structure variation or human genome comparison. I call it layout graph. What you see here? is a concept of layered graph, which is constructed with one reference genome and personal genomes. Currently, I treat it as a relationship between one reference genome and one personal genome. This graph is a time of sequence graph or variation graph. So this is a bidirected graph and knows a set of multiple DNA sequences and the end-to-end -end connections between nodes are edge. Edge not meaning the RDCC on the reference genome indicate 
जहां सब जीण के लिए अड़े नी मे वन टू द ग्राफ विजुअलाइजेशन सी कैन चिंग मैप इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल विजुअलाइजेशन फॉर सी कैन ग्राफ्स इट ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट अ चिल्ड मैप फ्राइट विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ गिवन सी कैन ग्राफ्स इट ब्यूटिफुल Since it provides a specialized design tuned for sequence graphs, it is useful for understanding tasks on the chromosome. In short, it visualizes the graph structure ranged from exon level to a single nucleotide. On the other hand, banding is a famous tool to visualize an assembly graph. It renders the topology of a genome graph. So, we can observe repeated region. in the grand graph as a graph structure it provides the whole genome level information in the assembly graph if whole genome gene and the nucleotide level information are observed at the same time it will be more useful for understanding large scale structure variation so i propose ideas of the graph genome problem the core concept is a hierarchical view That is overview, partial graph view, and lineup. I will show you the mockup and describe the flow of exploring the red graph on this idea. This is the upper half of the mock, the overview. In circle plot, each arc means a chromosome, and the links between arcs means the relationship between positions on chromosome. You can choose a genetic feature such as a structural variation from it, and the amount of changes can be restricted with a slider draw. There are other ways to choose the genetic feature. You can select from structural variation table, supporting filtering or sorting. A gene name, know the ID of the graph, or coordinates on the reference genome are also the means to select a genetic region in this input tree. After you select the genetic region, the cardiogram shows the status of genetic rearrangement. The red squares and arcs indicate variations against the reference genome. You can observe large-scale structure variation, and you can pick up the position to visualize on the partial graph view. In short, the overall view enables you to select genomic features. This is the lower half: partial graph view and line view. The partial graph view shows the topological information and major attributions of the graph genome. Nodes are a set of DNA sequences, and color red means the path of reference genome. The color is corresponding to each chromosome, and uncolored red indicates variation. In this example, the black red indicates translocation, and the two gray reds means SNP. Nodes color shows the mapping coverage. The deeper the color of nodes, the higher the mapping coverage. Moreover, rectangles on the node mean gene or repeat annotation. In this example, the blue rectangle means the gene annotation, and the orange means repeats. So, partial graph view enables you to grasp the biological status of the node. Lastly, the line view shows the various kinds of annotation, including map on the path selected on the partial graph view. This graph genome browser may be useful in this case. While two at the top are the example of one difference and variation set, the other are assemblies. Uh, they require to align those assemblies before constructing the Bayard graph. In this case, the visualization with the Bayard graph helps us to understand a biological meaning of variation. So far. I described ideas of the graph genome browser, but what I have developed is only the prototype. So next, I will show the details of prototype. First, I will describe the architecture of prototype shown in this figure. Currently, this is a web-based tool, and you can access the URL with your web browser as far as necessary to display the graph. The backend engine is VG. I really appreciate for VG teams and developers. This client renders a graph fetched by Ajax access to the server. 
Uh, currently, bridges XG format and feature table. Reference genome information are required, I think, in back and side. Next, I will show you the example generated by the prototype. An input data is a variation graph based on GRCH37 and the 1000 genomes generated by VG. Those features are interesting sites, including many SNPs. We have indicated and repeated, and feature to show the SNPs on the region allocated as an exon in different genome. I said that the overall view is designed to select generic features such as structure variation. In 1000 genomes, I choose the filter top level to the bar as the target feature since I think the size and count of the bar are suitable to visualize and explore. Then, I will show you a demonstration of the prototype. <laughs> you can select the dynamic region on the overview, subplot in the left side, and SV table in the right side. And the result is rendered on the partial graph view by D3JS below. Uh, if you change the dynamic region to view, the partial graph view is refreshed and the rendered nodes are dragged. Uh, GIPA request is called for backend server by Ajax and returned as a JSON format on loading. Uh, uh, and you can see hints on covering the question icon. And you can explore the neighbor region using this slider. And if uh, there are any annotations, then uh, they are shown as a rectangle on the node. Uh, finally, I will describe the problems. Uh, there are many problems. The first problem is that it is difficult to generate genome graph data with a comprehensive large scale structure variation, including translocation from a patient genome. So, in order to construct the graph, a structure variation visualization pipeline shown on the right is required. And the output of this pipeline will be input data of the graph genome browser. After that, the pipeline is complete. I will try the integration between graph genomes and actual data with collaborator. And interface design is also difficult. The design should be effective to understand both the topology and attributes of the layered graph. I will work on this issue with the help of information science researchers. And user evaluation and integration with existing database is also a problem. The summary is as follows. Uh, structural variation can be represented on genome graphs using layered graph. So I am developing a genome graph browser to visualize structural variation as a layered graph. A graph genome browser, including my implementation, is an infrastructure for graph genome analysis, and most of you become users in your future, I believe. There are many unknowns and difficulties, so I would appreciate it if you could have more ideas and suggestions for the graph genome browser, and I hope you to become a user. Uh, if you are interested in my project, please access this URL. But many access causes my server to crash. <laughs> <laughs> and the manuals are written in Japanese only, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I wish to express my appreciation for this opportunity to talk here today. I would also appreciate this person. And this work is supported by IPA Talk program. That is all. Thank you for listening.